Around 500 dung beetles have been released on a south widened upper dairy farm as part of a plan to improve the soil. This release will be the second to take place in New Zealand after a Southland farm introduced dung beetles in its soil last month. The big question is, what will they actually be doing for our ecosystem? Joining me live from Christchurch to explain is bug man Rude Kleinpass. Good morning, Rude. Good morning, Samantha. So what do they actually do? How do they help the environment? Well, these guys are the master diggers of the world. These are not dung beetles that roll their own, so to speak, uh -huh. they, and roll, <laughs> you know what I mean? These guys go underneath cow pads and dig the dung and transport it into the soil right below. You've got one in your hand there, have you? Yep, they're absolutely. Quite, so this is the size. So they're quite small. Tell me a little bit about the dung beetle itself. So where is it from and how old are those ones? Well, these are almost near the end of their life, so they're not that terribly active. Although they're still pretty powerful in their legs, they're from South Europe. Uh, they've been actually spread quite much around the world because a lot of uh, agronomists see the, the value in dung beetles because the poo doesn't lie on top of the, the uh, you know the grass for a long time. Cattle can can graze straight away. Uh, the, the nutrients are recycled back into the land. All that sort of stuff. Fewer flies. Uh, fewer parasitic things for the cattle. You know. It, it's all very good for the environment. So these things are, of course, now right around the world. They're in, in, in Australia. They're now also in New Zealand. And they are such hard workers. They're brilliant. And so they, so you release them onto the farm and they breed yep. themselves, do they? Uh, they do. They mate. Quick? They lay eggs. Yeah. Yep. And, and so they, do they actually, what are they doing with the dung? Are they eating it or are they burying it under the ground? What, what are those bugs up to? <laughs> Samantha, nature knows no waste. Whatever you and I may think of as waste, they think is a resource. So what they do is they dig it into the ground, they lay their eggs in it, and their young will feed on it. So they will break down the dung into kind of food for plants again, for the pastures or whatever grows there. So as far as that's concerned, this is how nature deals with waste, with dung. And, and, and dung beetles that roll their own do the same thing, but they roll it away like sometimes a kilometre and dig it into the soil and lay their eggs in there. But you know, when you roll dung, you can't use dung from animals that have got diarrhea or very sloppy poos because you can't work with it. So these guys are far more efficient. They put it straight under where the dung fell and go straight back into the soil. Okay, look, when I first heard about this yesterday, I just thought of the potential for it to go wrong. You know, my, my thoughts turned to gorse and rabbits and other introduced pests yep. in New Zealand. Could there be a detrimental yep. impact that we just haven't considered with dung beetles? There is no way you're allowed to import anything into New Zealand without an enormous body of research. I think they spend something like 600,000 bucks worth of research, which tells everybody that these guys would be very beneficial and pose basically no threat could, at all to our see, ecological what about systems. A, what about a population explosion if we get a, a, maybe a weather event or something like that? Are we going to see dung beetles flying around all summer, potentially? Anything like that? <laughs> yep, as long as you don't have them in your mouth, you should be fine. <laughs> don't eat them. You, you, you really Samantha, like the dung beetle, don't you, Rude? Samantha, I love them. This, you know, I've got four here, John, Paul, George and Ringo, and one of them had just had a lovely, lovely journey into the poo. I can't tell yet which one it is, so I have to do taste tests, <laughs> oh, but you I'll didn't. do that after. After breakfast, yeah. Hey, but this is, this is really important. You see, we never had big mammals in our country. Mm. So these dung beetles will only eat mammalian dung of big things, you know. So the fact that we've got agriculture with, with, with cows and sheep and things like that helps them to feed. But they won't really switch diet to a sloppy duck poo, for instance. Right. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. Thank you for your time this morning, Bugman, Rude, Kleinpass. He did actually just lick a dung beetle then. That was an interesting moment. Um, but anyway, they seem to be doing good things.